Mm-hmm. Your favorite commentator, your favorite <laughs> record label owner, your um, Questa's ex uh, manager, manager, babysitter. What? <laughs> <laughs> Questa's babysitter. <laughs> Uno Ota. Mm. Right. Let me, let me start. Let me just open it and then I'll let you speak on it because okay. you've okay. got your feelings about it. For me, Uno Ota has got a lot of information. I think I've said that to you yeah. before. He's got mm-hmm. a lot of information through experience, all right, in terms of the, the music the industry. industry, especially the hip-hop industry. And he seems to be someone who attracts a lot of knowledge. He reads, you know, he's always up to date with, you know, a lot of things. And he's got a good memory about things that he talks about, all right. But I think his delivery needs needs to be sort of twi- uh, tweaked a bit. Polished. Yeah, tweaked a bit. Now, he's not that dumb to understand what I'm saying, right, in terms of tweaking how you, you message your shit. Mm. I feel that he does it on purpose. I feel that when he does that and the way he delivers the message, he knows that within the truth of whatever he's talking about, there's going to be some residue or some attention that is focused on who's saying it, uh-huh. right? So the conversation about Obo Black Coffee is a conversation to be had, right? But it has become now Nota versus Black Coffee. Okay. It's not about Nota versus GBV, which is what he was raising. Yeah. Right? And he's had lawyers' uh, letters sent and whatever, whatever. So that's my point. Delivery, delivery, delivery. And I don't think it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a, a mistake. Mm-hmm. I think he does it on purpose. Um, to bring their attention to him, he's trying to build his profile in terms of being a social commentator mm-hmm. and and uh, the voice of reason, you know, if you want to call it that. The, the authority. Yeah, but it's like he's using like shock jock tactics. Yeah, you understand. Shock value. But you take it over uh, as um, as <laughs> he, he, if I understand. Wow. <laughs> uh, as a stand, you can nah, take man, it over. I just, I just, I also, I also feel the same way. Like, mm. he has a lot of knowledge. Mm. And, you know, with knowledge, uh, if it's, it's, it's not conveyed um, in a correct manner, mm. it can come out as jealousy, arrogance. Exactly. And sometimes, you know, um, stupidity can sound stupid, mm. even when you're telling the truth. Mm. And with, with not, I just think, you said he, you think he does it on purpose. I, th- I think it's uh, impulsive. Like, if if if, uh, if it, it cannot be, you you can't even explain that. It cannot be impulsive. Where they've had a running battle. It actually, he's had a running battle against Uplek Coffee, yeah. right? When he has that running battle against Uplek Coffee, it's if it's if if one of the statements that he made mm-hmm. was like that, that's one statement. But you can't have five statements in a space of let's say three months about the same issue and you're still showing that impulsiveness do you get my point yeah. so you've had so much time to actually think about the issue and you still go with that aggressive um, um, irritating um, a spiteful tone right <laughs> Yeah. it means you are purposefully doing it if it was a once-off statement, maybe I can give him the benefit of the doubt. But now, if we just talk, we're not even talking about the Casper issue that he has with Casper. Uh-huh. We're not talking about the necessity issue, right? Now we're bringing him now because there's a Questa issue now, right? Mm-hmm. And in all these instances, he's impulsive. He's it, it cannot be. It's it's he knows because when he went after Uzuchi Kok dope about he, he, the, the illness that Tuzuchi Kokuto. Yeah. yeah. He knew that he was doing that and then he came back and apologized. He knew when he was talking um, um, lies about to play coffee within the, the, the good commentary he was talking about GPV, he knew the lies. The lawyer sent letters and then he had to backtrack again. You understand? Okay. So what I'm saying is it's on purpose if it's if if you know you're not learning, you know how it's how it's gonna be. It's on purpose. 
And I think you want to bring the attention to you. So let's get to the story. Uquesta has been locked out of his YouTube channel. Yeah. Right? Supposedly had like 173,000 people or something like that, followers on it. All right. Um, and he posts on, on and, and a fan asked him on Twitter, he's like, why are you locked out? Why are you starting a new channel? Mm-hmm. Right? I think the new one is, is, is up to 3,000 now or something like that. Subscribers. Yeah, subscribers. Okay. Because I think he's dropped two tracks on that, on that one. So, Questa then says he's been locked out. Mm-hmm. Okay? Now, Nota sees this and then he responds and he's like, tell the truth. You're not being locked out. We cannot, I think uh, his company is called Ubertainment or whatever, mm-hmm. not this company. We, we, we cannot just give over these resources that we built for you without being paid for them. Mm-hmm. Okay? And he talks about how we, he built a fan base, ga, ga, ga questa, um, you know, his social media presence and everything again. Fair and good. For me, it seems like going back to when we started knowing Unota late, let's say mid last year to late last year. And I kept on saying to you, why does this guy keep on talking about Questa and sort of like he made him? Mm-hmm. Right? And I feel, Uti, I even said, I hope Uti at some stage Questa comes out and actually states the record. Because this guy is taking all the credit. All the credit of Questa. Questa mm. said that. He then goes on, I think it was a firehouse, probably like three. Three tweets. You you weaponizing the 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 supports that are you know the your audience that are built for you against me. Uh, it's respect. You must pay for the YouTube channels. So blah 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 blah. I'll say this. I, of course, we don't know the finer details of how how things worked out. For me, Uquesta should have just bought this thing. Okay. Right. If 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 he's saying it's it's um it's it's his thing or not, just buy it and then get it over and done with. Uquesta Uquesta is being run is is being uh, um managed by Duma Creations. Mm-hmm. Understand? So, so what I'm saying is that chick that runs with Duma Colle- uh, uh, Collection. Truly. No, it's not truly. Okay. It's something Mapena. Uh, Sibu. Sibu Mapena. Mapena. Yes. Sibu Mapena, she looks like she's on point with the shit that she does. Mm. Uh, she looks very professional. She knows her shit. Surely, they could have foreseen this on the album rollout when they were scheduling it. Which we've got a problem where we can't access our own page. Why do you leave it? Ukwes is releasing the album on the 30th. Why are you leaving it until this late stage, right, mm-hmm. to sort this shit out? Uquesta and Nota parted ways last year. Mm-hmm. That should have been handled last year. Yes. Your social, your social presence as an artist now is paramount that you've got control of it. It's fucking paramount. And then there's stories that the H1 that they're using was actually, did not belong to Uquesta it belonged to a business partner, Ganota, and now Big Zulu is using it. Heaven. The studio was not there. Big, Big, Big Zulu is using the studio. So the, right? s- the studio in, in Joburg. Yes. That's, that was not Rap Life or whatever they used to call yeah. themselves. Rap Life was just the name. That so had so le- le- let me show you something. If you go to, let's say, Questa's music, all right? Let's say Questa. We go back to the stuff that he did back mm-hmm. um, let's see spirit now okay look here hey, look who actually owns this shit where is it now who owns that? the song <laughs> wait it was a one um, where is it how can I find it now uh, okay so Go to watch. Okay, let's go down to the end. 
But what I'm trying to say to you, it is, it is um, not as company that actually sort of owns the music. So this guy, Questa doesn't own his masters. Let's go. Let's go to where's where are the albums, because I think the albums will tell us what we what I'm looking for. It's Questa. What was the other album? Dakar Two. Yeah, here's the album. Okay, let's go down. Let's go down. See. Under exclusive yeah. license from Urbantainment. 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 That's not a. Yeah. Fuck. So, it's, sorry, it's not Rap Life. Where is Rap Life here, dog? Nah, but Sony Music Entertainment Africa. Like Under entertainment. exclusive license from Urbantainment. So Urbantainment owns it. And they're licensing it to Sony, Sony for distribution purposes. Mm. It's how a fucking he, mess. How did he get to own? So Quest what was Rap Life? Life? That's what I'm asking. Like, Rap Life was just the name. Is that, is that what it was? <sighs> but going back, these things are coming out now because they want to release an album, mm-hmm. all right, which... Of course, it's gonna relaunch. It's been five years before this uh, since this guy released an album. An album yeah. Surely, 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 you're gonna do your fucking due, due diligence and say, "Yo, I need this back. I need this back. I need this back. I need to be in control." Now, I was talking to someone on on on, on social media, and I was like, "Oh, actually, someone commented on one of the videos that we put up, and it's like, I love Questa." He was asking me about the date because I had said 31st of April. He's like, 31st? I'm like, no, it's actually, sorry, uh, my mistake is 30th. And he comes back, he's like, no, I'm away because I, I love Questa. So I'm like, okay, cool. But I don't know why this guy is so quiet. And then you understand that if you're not in charge of your f- YouTube page, you are going to be quiet. Ash. You are going to be quiet. Do you understand? So you are now in the middle. Actually, it's not even in the middle. It's at the last step of your album rollout. And you've got you've just started a page with only three thousand subscribers. <sighs> this Bruh. for me this is, is a mess. I, you know, from not aside, I understand. He's saying this is business. I did this, I need to get paid for it. Mm. That's what he's saying online. Questa hasn't disputed that. All right. And I'm sure he's not gonna dispute online because then it's gonna go back and forth. But as we stand, it's not it's not disputed. But what I'm saying is now you you are under professional management, Duma Creatives, and you guys can't fucking figure out that you need to own your own YouTube page. Why last year he released the two pack mm-hmm. with um uh, um the songs he uh, I'll I'll tell you. Uh, you don't you don't have I to love the song. But he he released the, the two pack. Jandine. Yeah, Unjandin and the other one. Yeah. At that time, why wasn't it sorted out? So he released the two pack still it, under Abentainment. Okay, let's go there. Let's, let's check. These things are Unjandin, ne? Yeah. Here's Unjandin. Um, let's see if we get down there. Okay, no, there's nothing here. But it was a two pack. Let's say go to album. Yes. Okay. Two scape. It was called two scape. Yeah. Oh shit. Still. Nota still owns it. <laughs> you know what? I, I don't know, hey? It now makes sense. It now makes sense because those two songs were fucking dope. Yeah. But they were not promoted. I think he did those songs to finish off the deal. Questa. Yeah. Did those songs to finish off the deal. Those two songs were dope. But they were not. But they were not promoted. Yeah. I understand. So I'm <sighs> saying to myself, for me, this is so fucking childish and so amateurish. I myself, as a non industry guy, just a fan can understand that you need to be in control of your fucking distribution should, mechanism. Yeah. Do you get my point? You need to control your, and YouTube, you cannot YouTube is part of your social 
Shit, bro. Social proof in your It's a big part of it. Yeah. Now, when, now when, I ha- when I hear of a song, the first place I go to is YouTube. Exactly. Exactly. And now, what is it done? It's only on thingy. It's, it, it's, it's, it's only on 3,000. 3,000. And you are coming back with a big album after five years. That is so fucking amateurish. I'm sorry to say, that is such a dumb shit, yeah, bro. It's, um, yeah, it's... Unless we, c- unless we come, come back and say, because it seems like Nota's saying you must pay me, but unless he comes back and say, maybe Unota said he wants 50 million, like some, something ridiculous. Yeah. But for now, he could have, he should have tried everything to get it. Or even build it up. Build it up. You had a year. Build up your, your YouTube. Uh, build it up. I you had a fucking year. Even if you're not releasing music, just do my freestyles to build up freestyle, 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 boom, 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 and boom. He's boom. good with the freestyles. He's nice with them. Yeah, but you, that will build up the page. Yeah. Because let's say Mzape, he can't take that music from that other page and bring it to this side. Okay, cool. But then build up the page anyhow else, bruh. Fucking start <sighs> a reality show or studio sessions, you understand, and put some content out so that by the time we. We are less than a week from the album. It's actually five days, I think now. And the, the promotion and stupid. the promotion is also it's not there as well. <laughs> it's it's to me, even the two songs that is dropped, the the, the first fire, two singles, yeah, yeah, those are fucking fire tracks. No promotion. Ah, bro. So you you look at that stuff and you say someone has been in the game for so long, but. Even me, Gisla Lelela and North Gates, I understand. I can see it now, man. This guy is like, I don't know, maybe it's a it's a it's a it's a Fosoras thing. He's from Fosoras, guys. Yeah, it's maybe it's a Katle Hong. Katle Hong. Maybe it's a Katle Hong thing, man. You know. But you have to be professional when it comes to music. You can't take it saying at your thing I got and chips, La Panda and you know, uh, that's gonna be your burger. No, 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 no. A burger needs a burger, there's a patty. You know, <laughs> bacon. You know, <laughs> don't do it it's like you're doing it like a car, see, bro. Like be, prof- be professional, you know. But so, uh, but let's just hope he'll, he'll sort out his his mess before <laughs> the album comes out. Nah, let's hope so. It's, it's too late for that. It's too late. And. Uh,